what was your first impressions of coming to Cardiff? You know, because obviously you joined before I did. Yeah. Uh, so what was yeah. your first impressions of uh, yeah. obviously how did how did your move come about? Well, I was um, just got promoted with Rotherham yeah. uh, from from League Two to League One. Um, and really happy, really happy. Started that that season playing well. Uh, Mark Robbins has joined. Um, just totally oblivious that Bobby Gould was looking at me and the start of that revolution. And then when they came in for me about maybe five games in, uh, it's initially well, no, you know, I'm really happy and um, you know, no thanks. And then they persisted. I played a few more games, and then I went down to Cardiff and uh, looked around. And I suppose I realised that, you know, it, you, you've got that kind of big city mentality. And if I was going to do well, it would have been, uh, you know, within a big city. So, so yeah, yeah you know, I joined. Um, don't regret it now. Uh, but I say I was really happy at Rotherham. But this yeah. was um, a, a different step, obviously a, a step down as well. Yeah. Uh, but I kind of saw it was um, dead plans in place. Yeah, well, I think that was similar to me, really, that... Um, I think I saw the progression like you like you just spoke about there. That um, obviously I was I was quite content and happy in Middlesbrough. I was at my hometown club. I was I was I was I was living with my friends, living with family. It was just a, a natural 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 thing for me just to stay at Middlesbrough Middlesbrough Football Club. But then when when I wasn't playing, you want to play, don't you? And you know yeah. then then, you, yeah. then when you're not playing as much many games as you want to go to, and then you hear the plans that Cardiff had. Uh, yeah, that you wanted to see what it was like, and you know, I mean, I, I decided to come on loan first just to see if if everything was as good as what uh, yeah. what, what I'd heard, and, yeah. and I thought it was excellent. I thought the change room was very good, very strong. I thought that the, yeah. the squad was very good. I thought the setup yeah. I had plans to, to 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 be where I wanted to be. Obviously, it wasn't yeah. the time that we were there. Um, yeah, but the club was an evolving football club, and, and was was only yeah. going to get better, really. Yeah, it's a funny one because you know, as, you, as a forward, that invariably. If you you come in and you do well and you yeah. get, make that step higher, you're straight away under pressure because yeah. they're able to get in other players. Yeah, so yeah. you know, as I, I came from up from you know that season, we got promoted, mm. and uh, I think when I signed, it was it was it was a club record then. Yeah, three hundred thousand is, is club record. Yeah, and then the forward they got the year after was two million. Yeah. So you see the the gradual progression, and mm. I think that's probably as a forward that's always. You risk on you. You yeah. risk uh, being replaced. Well, think, well, uh, and I think that's the thing, isn't it? The competition for places was strong in the squad, but I think it, we 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 suffered because of the strong end of what we had. Because you know, I mean, sometimes yeah. we played. Sometimes we played three. Sometimes we played yeah. two. Uh, but we had yeah. probably we we probably had six strong players who yeah. could play who could do a job up there at one time. Yeah. You know what I mean? With yourself, yeah. me. You've got Ernie. You've got um, Peter Thorne. Um, yeah. You had um, uh, Gav Gordon. You had yeah. Jason Bourne, you had Paul Brayson, you know what I mean? So the, yeah. the yeah. It, it was the quality was endless, you know. So yeah. I, guess, um, I, I, I don't regret going because I, you know, I mean, like you say, it was an opportunity for me to go and live in a city. It was an opportunity for me to live and play football more regularly. Yeah. Uh, it was a yeah. different lifestyle. What you was going into, yeah. which, I, I, you know, I mean, I've got no regrets in any yeah. any move I did, but that, for me, it was a good move. Um, just so I yeah. could get more games and just for a lifestyle thing for me because it was yeah I was a young lad and I was probably getting a little bit stale um, looking back yeah. at Middlesbrough that, that I needed to grow up yeah. as a man and Cardiff yeah. helped me do that okay I, I mean I've loved moving around and I've met yeah. so many wonderful people yeah. and I think probably you know we're lucky because we were part of a promotion yeah, yeah. and I think whenever you're part of a promotion you become that town or that's his history yeah, yeah. and you know no, no matter where you go no matter where you play for you can always go back to that time you know see you know yeah, you yeah. scored your goal uh, yeah. mid a year before that we were part of a promotion uh when yeah. you signed so yeah, well yeah well yeah you remember things for certain reasons don't you that obviously my daughter was my first daughter was born in cardiff so I, right. my affiliation was not just football now it's you know what i mean I, my heritage yeah. is, is that i'll always yeah. take her back to show her you know what i mean where yeah where things were yeah. where dreams are made of basically where yeah. she was born and stuff but do you remember, yeah. going back to when we joined then so what do you remember your debut who was it against and what uh, yeah it was uh it was halifax uh, i'd come on the sub <laughs> to be honest with you I, you know as you do as you be younger wasn't best plays with being sub because i was yeah. the the, the, yeah, the number one forward, uh, number one forward at Rotherham. So obviously, a, a cipher card. They've had to, to bide my time, and I think we uh, we actually won four two, and and I I scored. It uh, wasn't the cleanest goal, but essentially someone shot, and I just kind of tried yeah. to uh, deflect it away. So yeah, so I come on the sub, beat Halifax four two, and um, that was it. 
I think, I think you, was... were, you were played against you were playing in mine. I think it was Northampton Town away from home. So I, th- I was due to make my debut at, at um, Huddersfield Town on a Tuesday night, but I got called off as right. we got there. So we got there and it was lashing down all day in the McAlpine yeah. and it was waterlogged. So I made my debut the following Saturday away at right. Six Fields against Northampton. We won 2 1. I managed to score yeah. one of the first goals. I didn't play a full game. Um, yeah. I hadn't played a lot of football, so I knew obviously my fitness levers weren't great at the time yeah. so yeah. I, needed, I needed to bide my time obviously with that so it was just nice to I don't know you know what I mean like obviously you, you were a you were a main player at Rotherham you know what I mean so you know what I mean you've, you've yeah. obviously you know, where for me that was probably the first time I'd felt as a a, a proper right. player because I've yeah. gone I've gone from being a young class as a young yeah. man even though I was 21 yeah. I was still a yeah. young boy but going yeah. to Cardiff it doesn't matter how old you are with a big price tag on your head that you're yeah, you're yeah. As a, as a, as a yeah. proper play, you know. So yeah, and it's funny because obviously when you came, I remember you from you. You you played a game against May United and scored two goals. Yeah, was that a league game? Was it? Um, it was well, FA Cup game. The FA Cup game. Yeah, that game. That was FA yeah, Cup. Got one, two yeah. goals. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, I, I knew you'd done that, and obviously you yeah. come to uh, you come to us. Yeah. Um, well, it was nice times, you know what I mean? It was like, like I obviously got some stories to tell like later on when we go through uh, bits and bobs, but um, obviously. We shared a room together, didn't we? A couple of times, you know what I mean. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't have a, I didn't have like a, a specific rooming. I don't think I don't, I don't know if a lot of lads did. You know what I mean? But we obviously yeah. sh- shared around, didn't we? But yeah. you know, one thing I remember about you, and it wasn't probably per se as a shared room with you. Um, you know what I mean? You, you'll probably remember it well, just as much as I do. That obviously we lived relatively next door to each other in the flats when I first when yeah. we first moved in. So um, obviously it was Christmas time that I told my yeah. family n- not to come um, at Christmas yeah. because I knew we were travelling. On Christmas Day night, so I said, "Don't bother coming because you're going to be stuck on your own." So, yeah. um, I'd planned a, a quiet Christmas Day morning, just have a bit of dinner on my own. So I'd bought a couple of ready meals or whatever, and just about to do mm. it. And I remember, I remember you knocked on my door and said, "You coming to always for Christmas Day?" And I always, yeah. and I always tell us about everybody because it was such a genuine thing to do. Which, yeah, you know I mean, I think it's only when you get a little bit older and a little bit more uh, wiser that you that you think yeah. that, that someone's yeah. on their own. You know that you've got a house full of your family. Yeah, um, your friends. Yeah. Obviously, Clayton was there as well. Obviously, when you from Bristol City days, um, yeah, that it was just a, the nicest thing. Like that, I just remember that anyone had done for yeah. the Cardiff, that, yeah. that, that nobody wants people to be on their own, do they? Uh, no, no, exactly. Time, you know, so I've always uh, full of respect. Yeah, and also uh, he was really kind as well because I remember you bringing my son uh, a little toy. It was a, it was a Tigger. Yeah. The ticket. And we still got that. And obviously it's Probably. in the garage. And I, you know, we say, you know, when Andy came to other Christmas. So, yeah. yeah. But, I, I mean, I think football is a very down to us, uh, yeah. down to us, modest but, people. I think well, we I get think a bad people, I think people, Well, I was just about to say that. I think people forget that. They're the normal people, the family, the family yeah. oriented people that, they like to give. Yes, they, they earn, you know what I mean, hell of a lot more money than we used to work. Yeah. You know I mean? But we still had a good lifestyle when yeah. we played and we were, we were very lucky. We had a lot of yeah. time off. We didn't, we yeah. didn't work nine to five hours. So we, we were mm. allowed to, you know what I mean, spend a lot of time with family or, yeah. or doing things that we, we enjoy yeah. doing. And you know, we do get a bad rep. We still, still people get a bad yeah. rep. And you, you try to back people up and try to uh, back um, the, the good things that they do because, you know, I mean, there was a lot of good, but there wasn't obviously social media at the time when we played and, and publicity, yeah. good publicity, yeah. which... Uh, which yeah. people... it's harder and you're under the scrutiny because I mean I say we yeah. have a break six weeks in a year so yeah. for, for those it's, uh, those uh, ten and a half uh, ten and a half months we yeah. are scrutinised yeah. um, and again you know what I'll say to you is that if you take any profession be it uh, nurses, police, fire if you if you give them give them relatively good wages mm. and short hours they'll yeah. be exactly the same as us oh, it's course, just, yeah. the problem is just young people yeah, well, well that's, people that's, a lot that's, of time. Totally agree, and 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 that, that that comes with people partying, it comes with drink driving, it comes with people making yeah. mistakes. And you, you're young, everyone's yeah. young, everyone yeah. makes a mistake, and it's yeah. it's how you learn from the mistakes. And yeah. You know what I mean? We all we've all been young, we've all made mistakes, and we've all learned from them. And as long as you don't make that mistake a second, and third time, then you know what I mean. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's human, and everyone's allowed to yeah. do it. You know, so. You yeah. know what I mean, but no, there's, there's well, there's a couple of things that yeah that yeah yeah you remember, but yeah, sometimes you put it to the back of your your back of your yeah. mind.